Hi everyone, it's JJ. Today we're going to be looking at one of the ocean's most magnificent creatures, the shark. Now did you know that there are around 500 species of shark? And these are separated in between 40 and 30 different shark families. Some of the most common species of shark include the tiger shark, the great white shark, the whale shark and the bull shark and many many more. Today we're going to be looking at a selection of these sharks and learn some fascinating facts about them. Let's dive right in. Now first off, let's take a look at the largest shark in the world, the whale shark. And you might think that because it's the largest shark in the world, that it's also the most scary. But that really isn't the case. The whale shark feeds on plankton and small fish. Plankton are microscopic organisms that float through our oceans. Now these sharks can live from anywhere between 80 and 130 years. That's really old. Now, the markings on a whale shark are just like human fingerprints. And by that, I mean every whale shark is unique. Their skin is dark grey with a white belly and it has an arrangement of pale grey or white spots and stripes. And it's these spots and stripes that are unique to every single whale shark. It truly is the gentle giant of the ocean. Now on to JJ's favourite shark. This is the hammerhead shark. And you can probably guess why it's called that. Yeah, it's the hammer shaped head. It's a really unique part of the hammerhead shark. Now do you know why its head is shaped like a hammer? Well, it's so it can pin stingrays to the ocean floor because stingrays are one of a hammerhead shark's favourite food. Having a head shaped like this also means that it can scan the ocean far more efficiently than if it had a different shaped head. It really is great at what it does. Now we're going to look at the black tip shark. Now this shark, as you can imagine, is known for its black tips on its fins. And this is probably the most shark looking shark that you'll find in the ocean, with perhaps the exception of the great white shark, but we'll get onto that in a moment. These sharks are typically a lot smaller than a great white shark. These really only get to around a metre and a half in length. That's still about the length of an average adult laid down flat. These sharks are often seen on shores, and this is because the shark is usually only found in water a few metres deep. They have been spotted at a depth of around 75 metres, but this isn't normally the case. These sharks can often be seen swimming close to the shore with their fin exposed above the surface of the water. Their bodies are extremely streamlined, like a torpedo, so that they can move seamlessly through the ocean, searching for food. Next up, we have the impressive tiger shark. Now this shark is named after the stripes that can be seen on the shark's body, but these stripes do fade as the shark gets older. Now this shark mainly travels alone and is one of the top predators in the ocean. This shark will eat pretty much anything that it can get hold of. It's an extremely efficient predator. Now these sharks can get pretty big, anywhere between three and four meters, and they can weigh around up to half a ton. The tiger shark's impressive fins are really long and this helps the shark manoeuvre through the water. It's the bull shark. Now the reason this species of shark is really interesting is because it can thrive in both salt and fresh water. They're known to travel quite far up rivers and they've been known to be spotted around 700 miles from the ocean. Now the name bull shark, it comes from the shark's shape, its broad flat snout and it's known to be quite aggressive. 
bone sharks can get from anywhere between two to two and a half meters long. So quite a sizable shark. Now, bull sharks are known for their powerful bite. They have a bite force of up to 6,000 newtons. Now, weight for weight, that is the highest among all investigated shark species. Now, probably the most famous shark in our video today, it's the great white shark. And this is the world's largest known predatory fish. It has over 300 teeth. The shark has a heavy torpedo shaped body and this allows it to cruise efficiently through the ocean for long periods of time. Now it can switch this up and have a high speed burst in pursuit of its prey, sometimes leaping out of the water. Now a great white shark will feed on most things from small fish to larger things like seals and even dolphins. Now, after that slightly scary shark, let's move on to someone a bit more gentle. That is the basking shark. Now, this gentle giant is the largest shark in the seas around the UK. That is where I'm from. So these are the biggest sharks where I live. But there's no need to fear these guys because they only eat plankton too, just like the whale shark. Similarly to the whale shark, they are huge, getting up to 12 meters in length and weighing up to six tons. It has a large black triangular shaped dorsal fin and this moves slowly through the water with the tail tip and their quite bulbous snout often visible above the waves. They have a massive grey body and they swim with their huge mouth wide open to catch all of that plankton. It's absolutely vital that we protect the world's oceans so that we can help these wonderful creatures to thrive. And by understanding them and spreading knowledge on these creatures, we can hopefully raise awareness of the struggles that they face. I hope you learned something new and exciting about sharks today with me. I really enjoyed making this video and if you enjoyed watching it, please do like and subscribe and we'll be sure to bring more content like this your way. Take care everyone and stay curious. I'll see you again soon.